Hey, Mr. Parker here. This is a huge update. There's going to be a little clip in the very beginning or the very end of another part of an update I had to add in there. Let me start off with the uh, Blu-rays here. All right. Uh, I got the shoes. I heard pretty good things about it, so I didn't feel I didn't. I wasn't too worried about paying a little bit of money. I actually, pay for a used copy. Super 8. Spielberg's supposed to be great. I heard mixed things. Actually, some say it's great. Some say it's all right. Some say it's terrible. Uh, Twins of Evil by Synapse. This is actually a pretty cool movie with Peter Cushing. It's part of the, the trilogy of vampire movies. Also includes, I believe, Lust for a Vampire and uh, Vampire Lovers. It also has uh, David Warbeck in it. I have not watched the Blu-ray yet, but uh, the old, uh, what is that, Carlton DVD was actually a pretty good movie. Insidious also got it used. Uh, this kind of put me off when it first came out because it's PG-13 and I'm not a big Ghost Story fan, but people said this is actually horrifying and scary as hell, which uh, made me uh, seek it out. Uh, God Bless America. This trailer looked amazing, and I finally picked it up, and I watched it, and I thought it was a lot like the movie Super, which I thought was uh, superior, but I thought God Bless America was uh, really good and uh, really fun, and it started off great, but lost its steam a little bit. Still ended up pretty decent. I would recommend it. Bill Murray's brother does a good job. Uh, Sin City, I picked this up because I didn't have the extended cut. I did enjoy the original uh, cut. I thought it was a pretty good movie. Uh, star studded cast, and I'm a huge Bruce Willis fan, so there we go. Uh, 13 Assassins, uh, Magnet, haven't watched this. This looks uh, pretty cool. Red Scorpion, uh, Synapse. I'm not sure if I ever saw this movie. I'm almost sure I did see it once as a kid, but I just cannot remember it. Uh, Joe Zito directed it, which is uh, the director of The Prowler and Friday 13th 4, so I expect some pretty good gore. I think so. so I want to say so. he needed the special effects. Either way, though, it's got a good cast in here. It's got Dolph Lundgren, Brian James. I see Emmett Walsh. That's that's pretty good stuff right there. Brian James is always a, a, plus, a plus to have in a film. Headspace, I did a review for this. I thought it was just uh, decent. It had some cool moments. Kind of remember Cameron's Closet or something like that. Just more psychological and not as silly. It's Headspace. Then we have uh, Bullhead, which is supposed to be really good. I have not watched it. Uh, don't know much about it. Uh, looks like a prison type deal. Just heard great things, so it looked like something I'd like. Independent, weird. Tales that Witness uh, Madness. I have not watched this. I think it's a horror anthology. I have not seen uh, any of the Olive Films releases, but this is from Olive Films. They also released Almer, among other things. That is uh, my Blu rays. <coughs> Let's get the VHS really quick. High Desert Kill. Yeah, it looks like it's got Chuck Connors. Is that Chuck Connors? Yep. Yeah. Right I remember Chuck Connors from Summer Camp Nightmare the most. Robot Holocaust, I remember these old uh, Amazon exclusives they used to have. Uh, Robot Holocaust is, Holocaust is a fun, stupid movie, retarded. Uh, better than Mutant Hunt. I also have the burning on this Amazon exclusive. No back cover, no nothing, just Robot Holocaust. Surprised that got released on Amazon exclusive. It doesn't make much sense. The last minute, this was very cheap, like a dollar. Don't know why I grabbed it, just did. I think it's on DVD. Salem's Lot, my DVD is pretty damaged. Like, just the box is damaged and irritated me, so I grabbed this uh, VHS really cheap. Been a long time since I watched that. Dr. Jekyll, having tell me Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Again, very cheap. Like the cover. We used to watch these type of things as a kid. Twisted, which has uh, Christian Slater before he was anybody as a serial killer in the late 80s. So We got the, the Turnpike Killer. I've not had a chance to watch this. It's supposed to be this crazy retro 80s movie type deal. But yeah, the cover art is amazing. I liked uh, the actual skeletons in the sky. That was always one of the best things they did about classic cover art. But like skeletons and random spots. This, I don't even know what this is, to be brutally honest with you. It just was really cheap, and it was like buy one, get two free, so I grabbed it. I don't think it's a horror movie or anything, Dying to Live. It's probably just, a, it just looks bizarre to me. And of course, The Guardian. I have this DVD, which is out of print, but the VHS was very cheap as well, like I said. And this one, which made me crack up when I seen it, Adventures in Dinosaur City. I haven't seen this since I was a kid. Then we have uh, some bootlegs here. Might as well just do the bootlegs really quick. We have, uh, I got a whole bunch of these really cheap. Uh, elves. I remember always wanting to see that as a kid. Meat Cleaver Massacre. I didn't pay much for these. I got a good deal on them. The Wicked. It's supposed to be an uh, Australian vampire movie. Terror in the Swamp, which looks really cool. Frozen Scream. Gore Horror, which I have been looking for the VHS forever. I don't think it's going to come cheap. The Deadly Intruder, which is a slasher with, uh, I want to say, Danny Badaducci, isn't it? Unfortunately. Cross Country, another slasher one. Kind of a thriller mystery. Teragram, it's a horror anthology. I watched part of this, it looked actually pretty cool. Good Night, God Bless. This looks like it's uh, actually awesome. I watched the trailer for it. Uh, then we have some, those are from uh, Blood, Wave, uh, Blood Wave DVD. He has a eye offer store, he's a pretty cool guy. Then we have these three from VHSPS. Uh, Lawless Land. Rolling Vengeance, and a Hollow Gate. 
which just looks amazing to me. I don't know why. I just love it. Pumpkins always sold me as a kid. If there's a pumpkin on it, oh, it's a done deal. We got uh, this import of Hard Rock Zombies. I actually have another DVD edition of this, really cheapy. I'm sure this is too, but yeah, this movie is actually uh, pretty retarded from what I remember. I have a poster and a VHS too. I guess I just like the cover art more than anything on those movie, that movie. Uh, the Vanishing by Criterion. Never watched this. Got a good deal on it. It was used. The same thing with The Killing by Stanley Colbert, two disc. It was like $8 or something like that. The Day of the Beast by uh, the guy Alex Iglesias, I think, Iglesia, who did uh, The Last Circus and Nakshu Mutante. This is like one of those weird imported ones that just like Korean cheapy, but from eBay. I just wanted to see the movie a lot. Uh, the Collectum Volume 4, I haven't got a chance to watch this. I did watch the one by uh, Dustin Mills, because uh, he actually uh, had me be in it for like, I was in a very, very small role, so I wanted to check it out. And Dustin Mills did Pub Monster Massacre, which is really cool. I like the, the idea of 10, 10 minute shorts all being similar, that's cool. And we have a Squeal, very cheap again. Pig Killers, I don't know what's going on here, but that thing right there is worth watching it for. I know how many runs you scored last night. Again, picked this up very cheap. Been putting it off on getting that one forever. Uh, Crazy Animal by Troma. Yeah, this looks like it's fun. I mean, look at that. Just the cover is so raunchy. It's like sex, drugs, rock and roll, and Ron Jeremy. That's a plus. Dahmer, which I actually heard is actually a pretty good uh, acting job by uh, Jeremy Rentner. So, uh, Battle Heater. This looks cool to me. Uh, Looks like just this crazy movie, and an insert had a monster on it, so I was like, sweet. And then we have uh, Gacy, which uh, I didn't watch at all, never seen it. So, uh, Cat People and the Curse of the Cat People. This was a Val Luton movie I didn't have. I had a couple of his. I haven't actually got to watch any. I haven't even, I'd seen the 80s remake of Cat People as well. I haven't seen that. Uh, then we have uh, Marcus Koch, new film Fell, who did uh, uh, Rot and 100 Tears. So this is kind of more a psychological from him. I'm curious to see it. Dark Heritage. It's got a little rat on there. But anyways, I heard this is really cheesy, low budget crap, but, you know, it's got a monster in it. It's old. Aggression Scale. Or this is pretty brutal. Don't know much about it at all. If I just grab it. Pork Chops 2. Uh, this is a screener. But pretty much everything looks like it's going to look like. I watched that. Uh, I was a little disappointed with it. I didn't think it was amazing. Didn't think it was horrible, but... Yeah, Retribution from Code Red, finally releasing their stuff. They have it on their own site right here. I never saw this movie. I had the VHS forever. This is supposed to just be crazy and awesome at the same time. Then we have another Code Red release, the Maria's B-Night movie Mayhem, the Severed Arm, and So Sad About Gloria, double feature. The only way to get these is get them directly from the site. Uh, Blood Mania and Land of the Minotaur, another double feature. I pretty much am trying to get all those. Code Red, I have all of them caught up. The People Who Own the Dark, which I didn't even know was getting released, and this is actually, uh, I'm kind of happy to have this. This is supposed to be a really weird movie. I think uh, the original VHS was on Sun Video, which is a really sought-after VHS. Uh, Ghost Keeper, which is supposed to be a really sought-after movie. This was released by Code Red as well. I have not watched it. It's supposed to be a slow burn. Kids Go in the Woods, Kids Get Dead. I did a review for this. Uh, the best part about this, ah, it's pretty decent. It's fun. It's just your run-of-the-mill slasher homage thing, but it's cool because it has a horror host in it. I thought it was all right. Exit Humanity by Bloody Disgusting. This is Civil War Zombies. That's all I pretty much know about it. The trailer looks very interesting. Don't Fall Asleep. I have not watched this at all. Just, uh, I don't remember even why I got this. But Don't Go in the Woods. I actually accidentally ended up with two copies of this. This is a very strange film. This is a musical horror movie that is different. Uh, there's some negative things about it, of course, but there's also some positive things about it. It's by Vincent D'Onofrio, and I would say it's not as bad as everyone's saying. I actually liked it. I kind of enjoyed the music. I actually really, I, I like the movie. It's different. It's just strange. Uh, there's some negative things, like I said, about it, though. Uh, for one, uh, they're like, just don't have any musical numbers that are, like, the people are playing music and going along, so it's a musical in that way. Then all of a sudden, uh, this woman just starts singing right in the middle of it and actually becomes a musical. No one else is there, no actual music. And it's kind of strange that they started that in the middle. But uh, Death Nurse, this shot on video, the official release here. Never watched this. It's supposed to be one of the crappiest shot on videos. But uh, is there really any great shot on videos? There's a couple. But still, shot on videos are supposed to be kind of that, like, hammy, cheesy crap. So, Dingleberries, speaking of uh, cheesy, hammy, crappy shot on video, this is uh, an intentional crappy one with these little turd monsters killing people. Very silly. 
Uh, we have this French import of Killer Crocodile 1 and 2. I've never seen them. These are Italian films. Uh, Giannani De Rossi did the special effects, so I'm expecting awesomeness. And uh, Rich Ortolani did the soundtrack for the first, so I, I can only imagine that it's going to actually be really awesome in kind of way. Then we have Crocodile, I believe this is like that Philippines movie or something like that uh, from Elite. I've never watched this movie, but uh, I always want to get my hands on it. Uh, Stag Nights, the last Ghost House Underground movie I needed. I have not watched this, don't know much about it, just grabbed it for the re obvious reasons. Ed Gein, which I heard is actually decent as well. I skipped out on all these serial killer movies, Ed Gein, Dahmer, Bundy, when they came out. I just didn't, uh, you know, I just had bad family about them, so I skipped out, and I, I keep hearing some decent things about them. So, The Alchemist, which is a movie I saw as a kid. This is like a bootleg from Amazon. The Alchemist, as I saw as a kid, uh, I do not remember much about it, but it's one of those lost movies I completely forgot about until I saw part of it. Uh, Panic, which is supposed to be this weird uh, kind of incredible melting man story. I'm not really sure. Again, kind of like this bootleg for Amazon. Uh, these mom and pop things. I heard this picture quality on this one's good. The Lost Tribe. Supposed to be a pretty good movie. New Zealand War. Not watched it. That's like a mom and pop. They're kind of uh, bootlegs. Then The Meat Eater. Again, another one of those mom and pop kind of bootleg type deals. Not watched it. But they're selling directly on Amazon. Then we have, of course, Grave Robbers, which is another one of those Amazon type deals. This is Mr. Fat W video. I've not seen that one either. Uh, then we have a tour, the Fighting Eagle from a Scorpion releasing. Have not watched that. And finally, just the DVD version of Headspace. That is my update. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. I'm sorting some movies right now, and I'm about to do a lot of work. So right now, I just got these movies yesterday or today. So I'm going to show them so I can put them away. And it's going to be in the front or behind the next big update. Here we go. Uh, Laser disc here of the Stray Strays. It's about killer cats. Yeah, looks like it's got the killer cat right there from. Uh, Pet Cemetery. We got Surrender Dorothy, which sounds cool. Really weird movie. Uh, Delta Force Blu-ray for comedy purposes only. It's a great comedy. We have uh, Phantom of Paradise by Brian De Palma. The Cars That Ate Paris also includes uh, The Plumber on there, which I have not seen either. Uh, Monster Bra Blu-ray. And The Phantom of Hollywood from Warner Archive. That's basically it.